Hey everyone, this is Robert from Atlanta. I'm being forced to make this video for Go Taren because he's my trainer and I believe in what he does for me. So Taren, it's all yours. Hey everyone, happy Saturday, June the 13th. Welcome to today's GoTerran TV Skype interview. And today we are welcoming Robert Thornbro of Atlanta, Georgia to GoTerran TV for the very first time, one of my loyal clients from the Family Life Center. Robert, welcome. Thanks for coming on today's show. No problem. You pestered me for the last two or three months. So I'm finally here and excited about being here. Yeah, you answered the call. You had the guts to do it. And I think that's great. Hey, I really like that shirt that you're wearing, too. Don't you? My, yeah. my niece out west said, what kind of t-shirt is this? And I said, it's a Terran Master t-shirt. <laughs> and she said, who's Terran? I said, that's my trainer. <laughs> oh, okay. She must have been very terrified for you. <laughs> well, she was, yeah, she just couldn't figure out what was going on. <laughs> so yeah, it's funny. No one else has asked me about this T-shirt. <laughs> they probably are too scared. They probably just walk by and look the other way. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> well, it's a good color on you. Thank you. They probably figure, oh, that poor old man. He doesn't even know what he's wearing. <laughs> <laughs> I think it looks very fashionable. It goes very well. Um, so I like. I, yeah, I, I think it looks great on you. Um, so tell us a little bit about yourself. Tell all the fans, where are you from? Where'd you grow up? How did you end up in Atlanta? Uh, I grew up in California in the Central Valley uh, among the or orange uh, groves and grape vineyards. And uh, very small, came from a very small town, um, lived there until I was uh, 16. And then we moved to the big city of Fresno, which <laughs> was just a wonderful move for us. Uh, wonderful schools, wonderful friends we made there. And I really do consider that my second hometown. Oh. And oh. lived there for a long time and started teaching and been teaching ever since. So I've taught in different areas but, uh, of California and other states, but it's always been a real joy. So I've been doing that. And one more what brought me back here is my father's side of the family is from here and so we often came back here for summer vacations which were wonderful because they all had farms so there were horses and cows and pigs and everything else and tractors I think it's one of the first <laughs> things that I learned to drive was a tractor and then uh, my sister moved back here because of her husband's job and so uh, our mother is is be was becoming very old and so she asked me if I could come out and I said sure I'd love to move out to Georgia because California was getting so populated at the time and so moved back here and that was 10 years ago and so I've uh, been here ever, uh, ever since really enjoying it making lots of friends like you and the many people at uh, Family Life Center and I teach uh, eighth grade language arts and ESOL students at Sutton Middle School really enjoyed a lot so that's kind of like my little capsule that's so cool Robert and can you tell all the people out there where is Sutton Middle School Sutton Middle School is on Northside Drive it's the old it used to be called Northside High School and then they moved and we moved into their campus so for me it's a wonderful 10 minute commute on any day of the week which I just love very cool. So going back to what you said, you had left California because it was just getting too populated. And of course now here in Atlanta, oh gosh, it's like uh, just desert. Like there's nobody out there. Uh, you know, it's just crazy uh, how empty uh, Atlanta, and especially Buckhead is, right? Oh, please. Uh, <laughs> it's amazing. Where I live, I don't even feel like I'm in the big city because the condos have so many trees and everything else around them. But as soon as you get out, you know there is so much traffic and it's just unbelievable. But I don't feel like it's a big city. I can get around easily. You know, it's nothing like LA or the Bay Area. And if you know how to do all the hidden routes, you've got it made here in Atlanta. That's true. You're right. There are a lot of back roads, especially in Buckhead, uh, you can get around. 
and you know, excuse me, you know when not to travel. Yes, certainly. Yes, absolutely. Um, so as far as uh, any hobbies or activities, what do you like to do for fun? Uh, what do I like to do for fun? Um, I've got a whole stack of books I'm reading this summer, both for leisure and for school, to update myself. I love to go to the movies, especially with lots of friends, and uh, that's very, very enjoyable. Out to dinner, um, traveling, of course. Uh, I enjoy traveling. I'm going up to uh, Buffalo, New York to see the family this summer, which I'm excited about that. So I've seen a lot of America and uh, Central America and Mexico, parts of Europe. So I do love traveling, and I've got a whole bucket list as soon as I retire, places I want to go see. That's fantastic, and I know you've got to be happy because uh, didn't you just recently uh, get out of school for the summer here? Yes, I, I'm finally out for the summer, and it's amazing. Last week I was in a workshop that was just outstanding. Really enjoyed it, learned a lot, and this week is my first day a week of vacation, and my calendar's filled already with this and that. <laughs> and it's like, wow. So it keeps me busy and out of trouble. I like that. That's, but yes, we have okay. about seven more weeks. Excellent. Well, you got to take advantage of every single one of those weeks and have fun and enjoy it. Exactly. Because once you get back, it just zoom, zoom, zoom. Absolutely. Well, uh, any good? You mentioned movies. Any good movies that you've seen in the last, I don't know, a few weeks or anything you'd suggest uh, for other people watching that you liked? Well, everything that I've seen recently is already on DVD and a lot of people have already seen it. I'm looking forward. I want to go see um, the new comedy with, we mentioned it, she played in uh, Heat and what's her name? Melissa McCarthy. You're thinking of Spy, I believe. Spy. I want to go see funny. Spy. That'll be great fun. We'll go Based together. On, yes, it got great reviews and it's mm. fun. Love going to, to movies. We ought to go together. Right. I, I, I definitely want to see that too. Right, right. So, yeah, looking forward to it. Excellent. And uh, how about for dining? What are your favorite dining uh, places in Atlanta? Well, they're really kind of on Buford Highway. Uh, there's uh, Saigon. What's it called? Saigon. Ch Chateau de Saigon. Chateau Saigon. We love yes. to go there and have dinner. It is so good to be. It's Vietnamese. There's a couple of Chinese restaurants there. Mm -hmm. And then we have our favorite Mexican. We have actually two or three favorite Mexican restaurants. Um, and we love Goldberg's. Mm -hmm, me too. We were there Sunday for lunch. and So there's a lot of places here in town. You know, they're not the big expensive ones, but they're very enjoyable. Oh, and the new Little Rabbit one. Cafe uh, Le Pen. Oh, I love Cafe Le Pen. I've told all my friends about it. Yes. And uh, so I'm looking forward to possibly brunch this weekend there because it's just a great place and wonderful food, good service, and it's never really crowded, which is wonderful. And don't forget about Korean barbecue, of course, up in Duluth. Oh, how can I forget? I'm looking forward to that. That is, a, that is truly a feast, a feast. Yes. So I'm looking forward to that. Excellent, very good. And I understand you like to go to a place that I uh, often frequent, and I believe they are the best massage service in town. Uh, the H Massage on Buford Highway. Can you tell us a little bit about that place? Well, I, I went there the first time because you gave me a gift certificate, mm -hmm. and uh, I had a young man named John, mm -hmm. and I have shoulder troubles. That's why I started seeing you to begin with, yes. and you know, and lower back problems and so forth. And so I went to John and I explained, although he doesn't really speak yet English, he understands when you talk about areas of your body that hurt. Yes. And yes. he's really good at relieving that pain. I caution you, it may be painful when he does it, mm -hmm. but you walk out of there and you have no aches and pains. He really, for a tiny young man, he does an outstanding job. He really does. I'm planning on going back to see him sometime this week. Good. Not, and my schedule's not too busy. But yeah, H Massage, they're so friendly there. They're so nice. They're so polite. 
the place is clean, spotless. Uh, they're just so happy to see you. And their and rates are pretty competitive. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Rates are very, very competitive. Mm -hmm. You really get your money's worth there. That's a great value. That's where I send all my clients and all my friends there. Um, so now jumping into the workouts, you mentioned your shoulder. That's one of the pre-existing issues we talked about when we worked out together. Uh, How are the workouts going since we started up? Well, I'm just I'm becoming amazed at what I can actually do. Uh, I came to you because I was going to a chiropractor that was very expensive, mm -hmm. and it was good treatments, but it was it it wasn't really solving the problem. It was just releasing the pain, and so I thought, shoot, for that kind of money. And I started going to the gym there, and I saw you around, and you called me, and you said you would like to give me a free complimentary. Uh, assessment. Assessment, yes. Mm -hmm. And so I was very impressed with that. And so we sat and talked and talked, and you um, explained how you could work on this muscle area mm -hmm. and really get it uh, stronger so mm -hmm. that, that I could actually use it again because that's one of my concerns is I have, I don't have a lot of flexibility and strength in that area. So we started out, and it was in January. It was early January mm -hmm. we started, mm -hmm. and this is now May, and I'm just so impressed at, at uh, you said you wanted to work on my core, and I'm amazed at the things I can do. Uh, those squats, I would never do squats before, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. they're really becoming no problem. The sit-ups are no problems. I, it's actually, we've added more and more weight, so I'm very very happy and I can really tell that it has strength in my arm I don't have the problems because as a teacher you're right-handed and your right hand is a work the whiteboard is a real problem to write on it's oh, like yeah. different okay. here and so I'm able to go up here and no problems that's wonderful that's excellent. wonderful yeah, yeah. so all the viewers excellent. out there Robert is just immensely come around uh, his strength has improved um, you know just tremendously and uh, he, like he just said, he's able to do a lot more, and that's an a testament to you know what you can do. Nobody knows more about shoulder injuries and problems, and I, I think I've mentioned to you, I've uh, and the viewers out there probably realize I've dislocated both these shoulders uh, back about five years ago. Oh, it's terrible, yeah, and and I did it in wrestling, and uh, there's nothing worse than shoulder issues, but um, that that's great. What what else do you like about the gym, Robert? I understand you go there, and I think you use the bicycle as well, and some of the cardio machines. Right, I was there this afternoon, Good. and I used two of the cardio machines. Good. Uh, and then did my sit-up, worked on my core. There you go. And, uh, I like the place because it's very friendly to begin mm -hmm. with. Staff at the front desk, very friendly. They're very sociable. They, and everyone in the, in the complex, the people that use the gym, are very friendly people. And that's what I really like. Uh, they always say hi. and. They always are talking, and, and that makes you feel very welcome. They have really good equipment, and I have to say the place is always spotless. Yeah. Always yeah. spotless. That's the true. bathrooms, That's true. the shower area, the, the pool itself. The pool is always busy. Uh, they're giving children swimming lessons, and they're, uh, it's so much fun to just go in there and watch them, uh, them with their parents in the pool and uh, their first experiences with water. It's quite nice, but it's it's a really good uh, gym, has lots of new equipment, and so I just can't complain. You don't really have to wait for equipment. That's true. So, it's unlike a LA Fitness or a World Gym or Gold's Gym. Uh, you know, it's so crowded and just uh, oh, it's terrible. But yeah, you're right. The the Family Life Center gym is great. Uh, speaking of the swimming pool, I understand. Are you going to be attacking that pretty soon, Robert, and going in there and checking that out? I am. I'm planning. Um, I'm planning on seeing when they have water aerobics. Okay. At least to see what that is like. But I would like to start doing laps. Yes. Um, it's going to take me a while to get up to doing like two or three or four laps. But I want to start doing that, and that will certainly be overall a really good one. It won't bother my shoulder. It'll be great on the knees. But it will here. It will be strengthening my body as a whole, as the core, as you say. There you go, yes, absolutely. And that's your total body health and wellness. Uh, and uh, like you just said, that's how you're gonna incrementally uh, improve, is doing two laps first, and the next day you try three laps, and then you try four laps, and so forth. Your progression continues on. That's wonderful. Right. 
Uh, so, Robert, getting back to the summer, what do you have any other plans uh, during the summer that you're looking forward to? Any vacations or getaway things going on? Well, I'm going July 1 up to see my family in East Aurora, New York, which is right outside of Buffalo. Okay. It's a beautiful, beautiful um, little vi – it's called the Village of East Aurora. It's all Victorian homes. Uh, there's a college there. It's an arts college that's been around for over a century now and so it's a it's a beautiful little community they have a theater original theater that still shows movies oh, cool. and that's cool. always fun to go to they have a five and dime that's probably world famous it's they have anything and everything and my brother-in-law works in there and that's always uh, fun to go back they have candy from the past they have just every item from JJ Newberry's or Woolworth's from years gone by Wow. And product, I mean, cooking utensils. They have this huge kitchen thing. And so anything you might be looking for, they would have it. So it's a fun place to go. Plus, seeing all my um, nephews and their children. And they have a big July 4th parade on the 3rd. Oh, and it nice. Goes, yeah, it goes right by their house. So they have a big Victorian. So we'll sit on the porch and watch the parade go by. And I'm sure we'll barbecue and and just have a wonderful time. And then, um, of course, we'll probably go over to uh, Niagara Falls again. I've done it once, but it's always so magnificent to see. And I think I'd like to see it from the Canadian side this time. And then I want to take a tour of Buffalo. I fly into Buffalo. I've flown in four or five times now, and I've never seen downtown Buffalo. And so my sister's going to take me down. We're going to have the grand tour. Because they go down to concerts and the hockey games and everything else down there, so uh, that we're going to do that. So it should be yes, yeah, it's wonderful up there. I think you've told me before, but uh, you have been to uh, Montreal, haven't you? I haven't. I haven't, been, I haven't been to Montreal nor Toronto, oh. and I'm thinking of uh, renting a car and going on up to Toronto. It's like an hour, an hour and a half from Buffalo. It's yeah. just straight. Straight up. So I, I'm thinking about doing that. I have some friends that went there last year. They have recommended a and b for, uh, for me, and it sounds like it might be a nice little visit. Uh, I've been to Van a Vancouver, British Columbia, and that's just a little piece of heaven. Oh, yeah. And sure, this is very, very nice as well. So yeah. I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, you got to do come, it. Yeah. Come back and then start school and the – Third or fourth week of July. Oh it's wow! Just how fast it goes. Yes. Yeah. But I'm very. Excited. I'm very excited about it. So it'll be fun. Yeah, yeah. I I can't remember if I've told you, but I've been to Toronto and I used to go to Montreal all the time. Also, when I lived up in upstate New York, and uh, it's just a blast. I love it. It's uh, wow. such a good time. Canada is just beautiful in general. But I think uh, I think so. From what I've seen of it, yes, I would have to agree. Yeah, yeah, that's going to be so much fun. Um, that's great. Excellent. Well, that's great. And uh, for the, all the other viewers out there watching, too, just uh, a fun fact here. Robert uh, is actually babysitting for me, uh, believe it or not. He's going to be coming over to the Goterran Palace and watching over little baby Tristan. <laughs> I can hardly wait. It'll be a nice time. I know we'll have a great time. Well, Plus, I'll get to see your cats. Ah, yes, that's right. Uh, yeah, and Robert's a cat person. I got to see his before we went recording here, and he's kind of disappeared out of the view, but uh, I'm looking forward to that, too. Yeah, he's right, up, it, he's it, right it, up there. Oh, okay. He's more than welcome to be on video. He doesn't have to be camera shy. I think I heard him meowing a little bit. <laughs> but um, the bait... Oh, there he is. Yeah. There, what's his name, Robert? Um, <laughs> Dexter named him... I, I can't think of it. It's an odd name. <laughs> All right, come on, baby. Come on, I call him baby. Baby, that's cute. Come on. All right. Anyway, <laughs> he's cute. <laughs> he's very shy around people. I had a guy here doing some masonry work for like two weeks. Never saw the cat once. Wow. Oh, Never. Once. How old is he? I was about two, three years old now. Well, he's Come really on. cute. I, be, I bet he'd get along with uh, my two kitties. You got to bring him over and uh, see how he gets along with them. Uh, so there are a couple of girl cats. Maybe uh, he'll find himself a couple of girlfriends. <laughs> oh, you want to go see another cat? 
I don't think so. <laughs> I mean, she didn't come out from under the bed when she moved over here for like six days. Oh my God. Shut. Come on, get up here. Come on. Whoa, here here's he a, goes. Here's a first. Oh, look at that. He's a cutie. Yeah, he's also a short uh, shedder. Okay. Art just shed so much. Yes. That's cute. Look at that. Oh, he looks yeah. like he's happy. He wants you to pay attention to him. <laughs> it does. It does. When I'll, I watch, I'll tell you who's I, not uh, shy or bashful. Uh, baby Tristan loves you. I think you're uh, almost like a adopted godfather to baby Tristan. Uh, he looks at you like Uncle Robert, I think. <laughs> he's so cute, and he's so much fun. Because every time I see him, he's doing something different. He, he's growing so quickly. I can't believe how large he is. He's so long and big and muscular. He's taking right <laughs> after daddy. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> well, I'm amazed with how quickly uh, he took to you, Robert. For the viewers out there watching uh, who know about baby Tristan, I think it was only about maybe a month. No, I don't know. Maybe about a month, month and a half. when He was, uh, he was a month and a month and a half old when you first met him. Right. Uh, that was when we first take, took him out for the very first time to the Colonnade restaurant, and uh, he just took right to you. Um, you know, you held him, and uh, you know, as now he's up about four and a half months, and still, like you said, you know, he he recognizes you, and he's always giving you a big fat smile and laughing, and uh, so always he's just so cute. He's just a miniature Winston Churchill. <laughs> he really is. <laughs> Those little cheeks of his, he's he adorable. Has. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Well, you're really good with babies, though. I, I think uh, you, you'd make a very, very good uh, father. So, uh, you're very, very good. That's easier for me to do. <laughs> great uncle. Great uncle. <laughs> there you go. We call you Uncle Bob. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yes. oh, I love it. So, what else do you have planned for the rest of this week and into the weekend? What's going on? Um. Well, as a teacher, you have a limited time to go see all your doctors. Mm. So I had this appointment today, and I've got babysitting tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And then Wednesday morning, I'm having breakfast with some friends that have very big, busy schedules. Uh, Thursday and Friday are actually still free. Good. So I'm, I'm sure they'll be filled with something before long. Maybe so that's a could be <laughs> also be friends calling and saying, "Hey, let's go out to lunch and so forth." So uh, it's a time to renew friends during the summertime that yeah. you're not able to see that often during the school year. Yeah, and and you know I'm sure there's a few of our mutual friends out there watching. We got to say hello to Dexter and uh, you know Bob and Craig and Bill. Uh, we've met a bunch of other uh, great uh, friends and mutual clients of mine over at the Family Life Center as well. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. So that's good. So, uh, what, Robert, can you give uh, for pieces of suggestions or advice to people watching who might be on the fence of joining a gym or working out or getting into an exercise program? What words of wisdom could you give to them if they're still on that fence, say? Well, what I really liked about Family Life is you go in, they give you a wonderful tour, mm -hmm. and then uh, you can sign up for a two-week membership free of charge. Okay. To pay it out. Mm -hmm. And so I did that just to see how it was. And for me, it's so convenient. It's right on my way home from work. Good. And it has good hours because uh, it's open, you know, in the evening. And um, so that's one thing I really liked about it. And then, uh, then you called about your training. And there are trainers all over the place. And uh, they're all very friendly. They all say hello. They talk and visit, which is very nice. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah. So the gym is, is, is it fit, fits my needs. I went to a gym where I really didn't get to know many people because I wasn't Mr. Muscle Man or anything else. And so I felt like I needed something friendlier and, and could deal with people, you know, a little bit older and so forth. So this certainly fits the bill. And with you training, I've learned how to properly do things, uh, really stretch the body, move the body, and strengthen the body. Those are three big factors as you get older, especially when you're busy like me teaching or doing anything. You need that mobility, that flexibility. And that's what I feel like I've gained from uh, 
having you as a trainer and going to that gym. Great. So I think Great. I think swimming will just add to it. It will. Yeah. Uh, and we got to get Bob in the pool too. Uh, that way he can try it out, uh, get on the swimming and. Again, you know, Robert, I got to tell you, you've been doing an awesome job, very well done on, you know, all the workouts and training and exercise. I'm thoroughly enjoying, you know, training with you. You're one of my best favorite clients. Uh, our workouts are going just so well. And, uh, you know, more than anything, it's been great to just uh, get you as a new friend as well, too. Uh, really exactly. enjoying knowing you. And so. lovely family. And, yes, and we enjoy the colonnade. Yes. And so that's good. So, yes. yeah. That's yeah. excellent. It's just worked out well. Well, Robert, again, uh, I can't thank you enough for uh, coming on here and accepting the call to challenge. This is a very, very quick 30 minutes that flew by. Let me ask you this, Robert, before we go and before I let you go. Uh, the people watching right now, uh, if there's anything that you want to uh, give out of a way for them to contact you, whether it's via Twitter, Facebook, email, whatever, now's the time. Uh, otherwise, you're not obligated to do so, too. <laughs> so, uh, I'll let you uh, decide. Uh, they could see your name though under the screen there. So okay. Well, if you'd like to contact me, I'm on Facebook. So just send me there, and we can go from there. That would be very nice. That's an easy way to do. It. So yeah, there you go, folks. Um, you could see it right underneath his name there. Um, if you look up his name, he's on my friends list. I've got five thousand friends, although I don't know if I know all single one of the five thousand. <laughs> You do, <laughs> but you'll be able to find him that way. And uh, you're close to that, though, don't don't you have like four thousand something friends, Robert? Oh, I don't even think I have a hundred. <laughs> really, I don't. I well, don't. after this go and Skype video call, we're gonna work on building that up and getting you some new people, uh, new go and fans out there to friend you. How about that? That would be great. It They're would really. Right. They're probably going to befriend you and ask you the one most important question. I'm going to say, where can I get that T-shirt at? <laughs> Just talk to uh, the man here. He's always giving out wonderful hats, T-shirts, towels. It's a true. towel is coming handy. So <laughs> yeah, yes. That's Long awesome. to the screen. What's from you? <laughs> so you cannot miss the car, folks. If not in the parking lot. Yes, yes. There, see, there you go. And you always know it's going to be green. Something uh, about me. I'm always going to be wearing green or giving out something that's green. <laughs> well, listen, uh, Robert, thank you so much for, again, uh, coming on here and uh, talking to me on GoTerran Skype. I can't wait to have you kept back on and seeing how your summer is going. You're going to have to keep us updated. So we're going to have you back on. I hope you'll accept the invitation for a follow-up interview here with us. And, I would. Um, good, good. Well, um, again, thank you, and uh, enjoy the rest of your weekend. And again, thank you so much for coming on to today's Go Terran TV show, Robert. No problem. I really enjoyed it. My and uh, I definitely will come on again. Good. Well, that's my motto. I always tell my uh, clients and all my friends that it's always good to uh, come as often as possible. So. Exactly. Very good, Robert. Well, a happy Saturday and happy weekend to you, and we will see you on the next video blog, everybody. Thank you. Bye-bye. All right, folks, there you have it. Robert Thornbro of Sutton Middle School right here in Atlanta, Georgia. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I did. He was a wonderful guest right here on GoTerran TV. And uh, you know what? Via Skype, I'm having all these great guests lined up right here on GoTerran TV just for you, my loyal GoTerran viewers. As one of my clients, Craig, had mentioned, I'm becoming kind of like the Diane Sawyer or the Barbara Walters of fitness TV, if you will, because I'm bringing all of the great guests right here on the GoTerran TV show via video Skype. And I'm not lobbing any softballs at them. I'm throwing all the curveballs right their way and asking the tough, hard questions getting down to the nitty gritty because that's what you, the Gotern viewer, the loyal Gotern fans deserve. And I'm trying to get to the heart of the matter when I'm talking to each and every guest like Robert Thornbro and like all the other guests that are going to be right here on the Gotern TV show. So that does it for today's Skype. And I hope that the rest of you have a wonderful weekend. Enjoy this beautiful Saturday that we've got out there. And wherever you're watching me from, remember, do a few things that I can ask of you. If you could do me a favor, there's a website link right here. You see that? www.gotern.tv. 
Bookmark that as a favorite to your web browser today and tell two people about it while you're getting the opportunity to do so. Also, if you haven't done so already, if you could please like GoTerran on Facebook, subscribe to GoTerran on YouTube, and follow GoTerran on Twitter, I would greatly much appreciate that. So, for Robert Thornbro, for Taren the Traveling Trainer, the Master of the Universe in Personal Training, and for all the GoTerran viewers out there, remember, with GoTerran Personal Training, it's your time, it's your investment, it's your life. Happy weekend, everybody. Go get them, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.